Welcome EK Penny viewers to a bonus video. This is my second go at the Laughing Waters hill climb. So I've got my old bell helmet on. This one's got the GoPro mount at the top because I had problems with getting the gauges working on the previous video. So I've just did a little bit of a look up online. The camera needs to be upright because the GPS antenna's at the very top near the start stop record button whereas on the chest mount I have a camera upside down so it gives a better field of view it's pointing better so I'll try the old helmet this one's not as good as a wave cell not as much impact protection but I'm only going to go on a short ride and just try it again and this time I'm going to do the full segment the previous video I didn't realize that the Strava segment started at the main road junction a few intersections before so it's only when I put it on Strava then it tried to create a segment and then it said oh you've got a segment that's really similar I said no I'll, I'll do this bigger segment from now on so let's, let's give it a go I've picked a windy day the second go so I'm at the beginning of the segment a little bit before it so I'm just going to turn left and when I turn left that's when the segment's going to start so I'm starting a bit ahead of it just to make sure everything's recording properly. So the full segment was about 13 minutes 53 and it's about 4.3 kilometers but I'll have a look at the Strava when I get back. So now for the descent back to the start should be a lot easier. As I said I've got beautiful farm land scenery, just a nice pleasant location. So I hope you enjoyed that strenuous climb uphill most of the way. So going from the main road to the end of Laughing Waters Lane, it's 4.34 kilometres long. And I did it in a moving time of 13 minutes 56 seconds. Maximum speed you can see there is 40 kilometres an hour and um, average speed 18.7 kilometres per hour. So that's sort of my first proper baseline. So you go to the map on the left hand side of the course where that green dot is is where I started from, that main road. And the top right is like a finish checkered flag dot is where I finished. The blue section is that second segment which is Laughing Waters Lane to the end. So that's the portion of that. And the two segments on my ride, you've got the Laughing Waters Lane Climb, which goes from a little bit into it, finishing about three quarters up the road to where it flattens out a bit more. And then the other one is the one that starts off a little bit into it and goes right to the end. So there's two segments there. And the climb one, I've got a time of nine, ten, nine minutes, 10 seconds for that portion and the longer one that goes all the way to the end 10 minutes 50 seconds so that's all recorded on Strava so I've got a Fitbit Ionic watch that records the ride and then that goes to the phone which goes to Fitbit app and then it goes to Strava so that's my way of recording you can use a phone directly or you can use one of those cycling computers like a Garmin 
or one of those or a wahoo so it's a few different ways of recording this i really have my watch so it works well so i'm just using the ionic watch so they're the two segments <clears throat> so here's the leaderboard for the segment that goes all the way to the end so you can see in the hill on the top the dark area is a segment so it starts about one kilometer into the trip and the grey bit finishes just before the end so I'm not sure their end point is probably a fraction before the actual end of the road so unfortunately Craig Hutton is a number one athlete and he just blitzed me <laughs> he took five minutes and I took for that segment about ten minutes so um you know that's just how it is so it just gives me something to strive towards I may never get as good as these top ten but it just gives me something to strive towards and also just monitoring my progress over time so there's an effort comparison between me so my PR for that bit because I've done it at least once before so it might not have been this ride but anyway one ride I've done I've done it in 9 minutes 36 seconds whereas the top guy on the leaderboard Craig took 5 minutes so at the moment you can see that green bit it says I'm 2 minutes 44 seconds slower than the leader and my average speed is about 12 kilometers an hour and he, he's approaching 16 so you can see it can show you how much I'm behind the leader and hopefully over time I can close that gap and get closer and closer but I'll see what happens so I'll, I'll use this hill climb just as a climb to go back to every now and then and just see how my progress is improving over time probably my worst thing in cycling is going up hills going downhill and that's pretty adventurous going downhill it's pretty exciting on the flat I'm not too bad but the uphills it really takes it out of me so that's what I've really got to practice these steady uphill climbs so one it's a monitor of my progress and two it's just practicing doing climb after climb after climb doing just an uphill section and it's a nice scenic location like you've seen in the video and I'm going to sort of go back to this every so often and just see how I go so I hope you enjoyed that um, I'm not sponsored by Strava or Fitbit or anything like that but I think these tools are quite useful one for motivation and two just to track your progress over time so I'll see you in the next Eco Tip or Eco Sport or Penny Farthing Adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.